Owners love their Subarus, but Legacy has never been a sales rock star. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. The 2015 model runs against Camry, Accord, and all the other brutally competitive midsize sedans. Many, such as Fusion, Optima, Chrysler 200, and Mazda 6 have sexed up their sheet metal. In comparison, if Vanilla had a solid three-dimensional shape, it could very well look like this. Legacy's big advantage? Standard all-wheel drive. It is a Subaru, after all. This is a feature that many of the major players in this class don't even offer. And you'd have to upgrade to Porsche to get a low-profile boxer engine design. It's unique in that the pistons fire horizontally, not vertically, and it's installed deep in the bay for a low center of gravity. This revised 2.5-liter four-cylinder pumps out 175 horsepower. A six is available. It gets another exhaust pipe. The only transmission is a continuously variable unit also revised. There's a simulated manual shift mode. It's not a track star, but it's quick enough. Here, all-wheel drive is more about good on-road traction, not off-roading. I'm averaging 27 miles per gallon, pretty good considering the all-wheel drive. In class, Legacy's low center of gravity, a new structure that's over 40% more rigid, and torque vectoring from the all-wheel drive system make cornering more entertaining than the exterior implies. So, it is fun to drive, beat only maybe by the Mazda 6. However, buyers that pay close attention to handling may not be too crazy about the continuously variable transmission. This one is pretty good, however, it does keep some of the rubbery dynamics that they're known for. Steering is nicely weighted. The cabin is quiet to the point where wind rushing past the side view mirrors can occasionally be heard at freeway speeds. Inside, the formal conservative approach continues. Materials are now supple to the touch. These feel like they were swiped from a Lexus. Trim looks authentic, even if it isn't. New airbags keep people properly positioned in a frontal crash. I have to mention the door chimes. Um. Starlink interfaces with an Android or iPhone app using smartphone data plans to connect to the internet and stream music. Thank goodness the interface is dramatically improved from other Subarus. Is it possible to stash an iPad in here? Oh yes it is. Good to see cloth seats are available with rump roasters. Subaru claims that Legacy has the largest interior passenger volume in the midsize segment. It is roomy back here. Feet, legs, and knees will be happy. The drive shaft tunnel is fairly compact, so three average-sized adults will be reasonably comfortable. It would be nice to have a power port, though. Now, there is a practical reason why I do this test. People don't put cubic feet into a trunk. They load larger things. This is about the size of a TSA-approved carry-on bag. And if you decide to bring a bundle on a plane, let me know how that goes for you. There's room for storage and a spare tire, even with the all-wheel drive mechanicals. I love these hinges. They free up room in the cargo bay. And it is spacious. Legacy scores an easy 7 in the TP trunk test. The new Outback, based on the same architecture, will be even better for schlepping stuff. With destination, the 2015 Legacy starts at $22,790. This premium model retails for about $25,800. And remember, all-wheel drive is standard. Conservatively drawn, it's no runway model, but neither is Camry, and it's the most popular sedan in America. Legacy's anonymity might keep buyers from seeing that it has a lot to offer. Remember, other sedans are available with optional all-wheel drive. Ford Fusion and Chrysler 200 come to mind at the moment. Subaru could do a lot to make Legacy even more fun. They've done it in the past. Maybe not the full-on WRX STI treatment, but with a high-output version of the six-cylinder Boxer, some additional suspension tweaks, and subtle aero add-ons to the sober shape, it could be a stealthy force to be reckoned with. That's my opinion of the 2015 Subaru Legacy. Remember, if you want to see these videos a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months earlier than you do here, go to the New York Times, where I'm a contributor. They always post there first. 
That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.